Hello, my name is Tony Botting, and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we'll show a case for applying a roller slider fixture on a 2D axisymmetric model. This compressed air bottle has a static uniform pressure inside, and we want to evaluate the deformation and stresses in the vessel walls. Notice that it obviously has rotational symmetry as well as symmetry on either side of plane 1. You can mesh the entire model using solid elements, or shell elements, but a situation arises when it comes to applying fixtures, that is, where to restrain the model. For static simulations like this, it is standard practice to restrain the finite element model. This is because without any fixtures, the structure has what are called rigid body modes. Rigid body modes can occur with arbitrary loading, and it just means the entire structure can move in space without deforming. We'll demonstrate this effect. Since there are no fixtures in the X, Y, or Z directions, it can move as a rigid body like we're showing here. Any applied forces will cause these motions first without deforming the structure. Also, there are no fixtures to prevent rigid body rotation about any of the axes as shown here. Any applied torques would cause these motions first without deforming the structure. Special settings can be used to solve the case with no fixtures, but we can avoid the complication by taking advantage of the symmetry we mentioned earlier. So we'll set it up as a 2D axisymmetric simulation. First I'll make a special configuration and cut the model in half at plane 1. Next we'll define a 2D axisymmetric study. So this will be static and I'll check the 2D option. The axisymmetric option and we'll use the front plane for the reference and select the axis of symmetry. So we have a section of the model with two cuts. The free edges of the cut should be restrained to represent symmetry. Here's one cut that intersects with plane 1 and the other intersects the axis of revolution. We want to restrain the bottom free edge so it cannot cross over the symmetry plane but is free to move along the x-axis. This way the bottle can expand and contract in a radial sense. The roller slider fixture is perfect for this edge. We'll apply a roller slider fixture here as well. This will allow the bottle to expand and contract up and down along the axis but prevent the edge from crossing the axis. So we'll apply a roller slider on the bottom edge first. I'll enlarge the symbols. Now I'll do the top edge. And I'll apply pressure to the inside of the bottle. Let's take a look at the structure and show how our setup prevents rigid body modes. The structure is restrained from moving horizontally because of the fixture up here. And the structure is restrained from moving vertically because of the fixture down here. The structure cannot move in and out of the screen or along the z-axis because we chose the 2D simulation option. That 2D simulation option also prevents rotation around the y-axis and it prevents rotation around the x-axis. Finally, any rigid body rotation around the z-axis is prevented by the roller slider restraints. The simulation was run and it goes very fast because of the 2D simplification. Here is a stress plot. And here is the deformation plot. We'll animate this so you can see the behavior of the roller slider fixtures. I'll zoom in on the section cut at plane 1 and you can see the bottle is allowed to expand and contract radially so the edge with the roller fixture behaves just like it is on rollers. I'll zoom in on the material cut at the axis and see the same thing. The bottle can expand and contract since the edge is on a roller fixture. You can also create a 3D image of the structure with the menu Show as 3D Plot.
In this video, we showed a case to apply a roller slider fixture on a 2D axisymmetric simulation.